Okay. Um. Hi. There are lawn people outside and they're being really annoying, so I'm sorry if you hear them, but yeah. <laughs> Today was my first day back in high school as a college senior, and I was looking at all the freshmen, and I was like, you guys look very scared. So I wanted to give some freshmen some tips. I'm just going to talk to you guys and tell you guys some tips that I have learned throughout high school, and maybe it'll help you out. I don't know. I hope it does, so... Break it down. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber, just in case you didn't know, and thank you so much for joining me today. What was that? Okay. So as I already said, today's video is just a video for tips for some high school freshmen coming from me, a senior, who has had probably the worst and best high school experience. And I just wanted to say some tips, and if you guys want separate videos of me kind of expanding on some of the stuff, let me know, like story times and stuff as to what happened whenever I didn't follow these tips. So, number one, don't get your hopes too high, because high school is nothing like High School Musical, it's nothing like Lemonade Mouth, it's nothing like Sixteen Candles, it's nothing like any of that. It's school, and it's up to you to make it amazing and memorable, and it won't do it for you, so yeah. Number two is make sure you do extracurriculars or clubs, even though they seem kind of stupid going into them. I am in band, and I was in drama, and I want to get back into it for my last year, but they just, like, help you get friends really fast, because if you do something that you enjoy doing, then you just, like, you automatically have friends who enjoy the same stuff as you. And me doing marching band, I almost didn't do marching band. Like, eighth grade, I was like, I'm not doing marching band. Like, that's stupid. I hate band. And I went into it, and probably halfway through the summer, I was like, you know what, I'll try it. And if I don't like it, I can just quit after band camp. So I went to band camp, and I met all of these amazing people who I still call my friends today, and I still have a class with every year. And it's just like I went into my freshman year with seniors around me and upperclassmen around me and just friends who helped me throughout the day, and they just helped me throughout the years. And now I'm doing that for other freshmen because it's just like, it's fun. And I love band, honestly. I just love that I chose to do it because it gave me friends who I really enjoy having. So, did you hear my wrist right then? Holy heck. So I feel like that's a tip that I always like drill into people. Do extracurriculars and something you enjoy doing because you can just have friends who like doing the same stuff as you and it's really fun. So, three... Do not focus on having a significant other, like boyfriend, girlfriend, or if you like, do not focus on that because it will literally ruin your high school experience. My entire sophomore year was taken up by a relationship. It was me getting into a relationship, having the relationship, and then we broke up. And the last like part of my year was miserable because we broke up and I was sad and it just kind of ruined that entire year for me. So don't focus on relationships and because you're like... If you're going into high school, you're like 14 years old, like 14, 15, and then you'll end it at 18 years old. That is like basically your entire like teenage years. And if you ruin it with just like a relationship and let yourself get upset over them, because again, you're young, you're a teenager, you're not, sorry, but you're probably not going to be dating that person for the rest of your life. You're probably not going to marry that person. And if you do, you're really lucky because... Number four, go to school events. School events, I mean like the dances, games, like football games, baseball games, basketball games, because they're fun and they give you a good experience to hang out with people in school and, or like, in, like, that you're friends with in school. I am in band, obviously, so I kind of have to go to all the football games and it's, it's fun because you just like get to support your school with your friends, you get to hang out with your friends, supporting your school. And also, it, they just give you good memories. Like, having Friday night under the lights memories is amazing, and I really enjoy doing it, and then I just feel like that's something you should at least experience. And then the dances, the dances are just fun. You don't have to have a date, just go with a group of friends, dance with your friends, go out to eat with your friends, get all pretty, get all glammed up, get all cute, get all handsome, and you have fun. It's fun. Number five is don't try to have like a million friends while you're in high school. 
friends are great and they're great to have and I know it feels nice to have like 400 friends around you but a lot of times not all of those friends will actually be there for you not all of those friends will love you and support you and everything and a lot of times those friends will leave and my sophomore my junior going into my junior year I had like a group of like 20 friends and I ended junior year with a group of around 10 friends so just don't try and focus on having the biggest group of friends don't try and focus on having the coolest group of friends focus on having the group of friends who support you love you make you happy and will do anything for you because I have some amazing friends by my side and I'm very thankful for them so I want that for everyone and these like the friends you make in high school the best ones are the ones who will stick with you throughout for the rest of your life like my mom still has the best friend she's had since she was like 14 hello like <laughs> I want that because high school is the time of year where people think they're too cool for some people they'll switch on you they'll be fake and you just need to be careful who you choose to be your friend because that's all that matters well it's not all that matters you know just what matters is your happiness and just have friends who make you happy number six don't let anything get in the way of your academics I made this mistake this past year my junior year and I literally almost failed all of my classes because I was out every night until like 10 o'clock and that happens a lot to people when they first get their license. And I got my license at the beginning of the year. So, <laughs> I literally was just out all the time with my friends, hanging out, never did my homework, and I started failing all my classes. And thank God all of my teachers were nice, and they gave you like this week period at the end of the year where I could make up all my work. But, it's stressful, and that's like... <laughs> High school? I don't know why I keep on doing that with my hair, I'm sorry. High school is not stressful unless you make it stressful, and I, and I was in two college classes and two AP classes, and I was so stressed because I had like a 50 in physics, I had like a 60 something in um, A push, I had like a 60 something in math, though I had a 59 in math at one point. In my Spanish class, I just didn't know how to use the website, and she helped me with that. But I literally, in my math class, I went from a 59 to a 80 in the last two weeks. My A push class in the last month, I went from like a 56 to a 81. In my physics class, I went from like a 51 or something to like a... I think I made it out with like a 76 in there. Not good grades. And then my Spanish classes, I got a 75 in Spanish 1 and a 82 in Spanish 2. And it took a lot of work in the last few weeks because it was... I stressed myself out and I just didn't do my work so always do your work before you hang out with people or just make sure you always do it whether you procrastinate or not just do it cuz it's important and I don't mean to stress you out but high school is something that kind of dictates your whole life if you mess up in high school then you know and there are some good colleges that don't require high grade point average just a tip but I, I would just try and keep your GPA up if you have big goals especially because high school kind of dictates that if you can acquire it or not and I've always had big goals and yeah number seven do not pull all-nighters whether you get two hours of sleep three hours of sleep sleep trust me because that will literally ruin everything because last year as I said I stressed myself out with too much work and I just didn't sleep so I would do it and I was literally it messed up my sleeping schedule until about this past month. Do not stay up all night. Make sure you get some sleep, take naps throughout the day if you do do that, because, oh my god, it's horrible, and I... Number eight, the final tip that I'm going to be talking about, kind of what I mentioned, like, in the first one, you know? Live it up. <laughs> High school itself is not memorable. You have to make it memorable for yourself. So, again, go to all the events, make memories, go to all the football games, not all the football not all the football games because like I do that and it sucks but just go to some of them like go to your home games just have fun you know make amazing friends make amazing memories you know it's great cuz some of my best memories are made in school like I have such funny memories just sitting at the lunch table or hanging out with people in the band room or talking to people in class I've had so much fun and I'm really happy with my high school experience and I'm thankful to say that as I graduate I am happy with how I lived my life these past four years or three years and about to be four but just live it up 
do you. You know, don't change yourself just because you're in high school. Don't think you're too cool for everyone because everyone doesn't think you're too cool for them. They think you're they're too cool for you. <sighs> Have fun. Don't let yourself get too stressed. You know, do your work whenever you need to. Make amazing friends. Keep those friends. Go to all your events. Just have a good high school experience, and that's all I really have to say. It's fun. I love high school. High school was really fun for me, and I'm really... I'm thankful I had the experience I had, and I'm excited for this next year to kind of conquer. Because 2019, dog. But, yeah, I guess that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe down below. My Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Oevo are all linked down below. Yeah, if you want more videos like this where I kind of give you guys tips or advice, or again, tell me if you want me to expand on some of these points with some story times on what happened with me, or maybe just some fun experiences that I've had. If you want a full video of just like things I've had in high school, which I might just do anyway, so I have it for me whenever I grow up, so I can look back and be like, oh, that happened, I remember that. Yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe down below. I already said all that, so I guess that's it. Bye. I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm so sorry. Here, I'll do this so I'm not tempted to look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so tired. <laughs> um, what's something else I can say on that?